guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw a castle using two point perspective. Perspective is the word we use to describe how things get smaller as they get farther away. Now, a big key word for this is vanishing point. The vanishing point is where things get so small they practically vanish. Two point perspective means there are two vanishing points. Okay, so we're going to use our two vanishing points to create a simple castle like this that you could make it unique on your own. So let's get started. First off, you're going to need a piece of paper. You're definitely going to want a straight edge of some sort and your pencil. This technique involves a lot of erasing, so make sure you have a good eraser ready to go. All right, first thing you want to do is to create your horizon line. The horizon is where the ground meets the sky. I tend to do it half or maybe a little bit lower than half way up your page all right so we got our horizon line now we need to put in our two vanishing points i'm going to put mine all the way on the edge of my page so there are going to be two dots on our horizon line so these are vanishing points vanishing points i'm actually going to name these vanishing points because i think it makes it a little bit easier to remember how to do things so i'm going to name this one fred I'm going to name this one Sue. It seems weird, but naming your vanishing points will actually help you remember to connect your lines to them. All right, so let's get started. With two-point perspective, we don't see any flat front edges of buildings, so there'll be no perfect rectangles. Instead, we see the corners of buildings, so where the buildings come together. So we're going to start with a vertical line. Vertical means straight up and down. So you've got to decide where is the front corner of your castle going to be. I think mine's going to be starting off there. You definitely want it to be down low. And this is going to be for my front tower, so I want it to be pretty tall. I think I'm going to go about there. Nice vertical line. Now, what you want to do is you want to take the top and bottom of that line and connect it. Because this line is lonely. It needs to have friends. It needs to be friends with Fred and Sue. So we need to do that for both edges. So I'm going to line up the bottom to Sue and lightly draw a line. Line up the bottom to Fred because she's got to have two friends and lightly draw a line. Okay, bottom point. It's got two friends. Top point. We need two friends to connect to Fred and Sue. Again, draw these lines lightly so you can erase later. So this is going to be our basic form that we're filling inside. So we want to start with a front tower. So I want to take this front line. This is the corner. I want to decide how wide on each side my tower is going to be. I don't want it super wide. I think I'm going to go about there and probably about the same. So I gave myself some little marks and we need some vertical lines. So it needs to go straight up. Now, one thing that happens a lot is a lot of people accidentally... Put their lines at an angle. A great trick to make sure it's lined up, put your pencil on top of that first line and then make sure your ruler is parallel to it. Okay, you don't want it going out at an angle, you want to try to keep it parallel. Once you got a good spot, mark it. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I see my line here. I want it to stay parallel to this line, straight up and down line to attach good so there's our front corner now i also want to take two more towers one for the back two corners so i'm going to draw in some lines over here i think i want my next tower to start i want my castle to be pretty big let me just have it start back here and it's going to be let's say about that long that wide so again straight line up straight line up Okay. We actually want to make one more line on this one. We want this one to be a little thinner. We're going to see the side of it. You'll see what I mean as we get going on that next step. I want to do this exact same thing over here. So I'm going to say the castle's going to end about there. It's going to be about that wide and that thick. Okay. Now... What we want to do is we want to turn these lines into actual towers for us. 
So this front edge here, this one on the far edge, this one is correct. So we already have our top and bottom. This line needs to be a little different though. So let's take a second. We need to connect this line, that middle line, top and bottom. It's connected to Fred, but we need to connect it to Sue. So I'm gonna line up that bottom corner to Sue and I'm just going to draw it right in there and stop. Same thing on the top, connect to Sue, draw a line, stop. There we go. And I can erase out the extra lines. Now we see how we have a little bit of an angle for a building there. Same thing on the other side. First outside two we like, but this middle one, top and bottom, needs to connect to Fred. Also at this point, I know I'm not gonna see any of the horizon line inside my castle, so I can erase all of this line. And I know I'm not going to need these lines going out to my vanishing point. So past the edges of the tower, I can erase these. Okay, maybe we're starting to see that building a little better now. Next step, we need to make our adjoining wall in here because I want these to be towers, so they're gonna stick out a bit. So I want my wall to come to about that high. Okay, so I'm gonna take that mark and connect it to Fred. And it's going to stop where the second tower begins. See how that worked? Now a trick to making sure the other one is lined up exactly the same is if I line that back up, I'm gonna make a little mark where it crosses that center line. Now if I line up this mark with the other side, with Sue, and then draw just in between the two towers, I know that those two walls are going to look like they're at the exact same height. Perfect. I can erase this extra line up above. Okay. Now the towers stick out a little farther than the wall, so I need to draw some extra lines down in here. So from this point here, I need to connect to Fred and extend it out that way. And this point over here, I'll connect to Sue and extend it out this way. Ooh, there we go. Now we're starting to get some depth. Okay, I see the towers and the wall. Okay, let's work on our towers. Let's add some details. I want my towers to have this extra thing on the top. So I'm gonna do three lines coming out. The two outer ones at an angle, top one straight up. And connect these two to the vanishing point Fred, and these two to the vanishing point Sue. Okay, that gets me a little angle. Now I wanna go straight up from those points. And then we need our top edge. So I gotta decide how tall up this is gonna go. And I think maybe, I kinda like that point. So I'm gonna go from Fred to that point. Ooh, I'm gonna have to make my other side a bit bigger. Cause this line has to connect all the way up like that. This point's connected to Fred, but it's not connected to Sue. So I gotta take this point connect to Sue, Oops. There we go. and that gives me that angle. Good. Now, I want it to make it look like it has that, I don't know what the word for it is, but those little cutouts. So you know how a tower has those little cutouts going up and over like that? But I wanna make them exact. So what I'm gonna do is I'll connect to Fred and I'll decide how deep I want them to go down. I'll very lightly draw a line. Then it's all just a vertical line, so straight up and down to split that up. And then erasing every other in the center. 
So it's going to go over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up. Awesome. And I want to do that same idea for the other side. So I'll connect to Sue. Lightly draw in a line. I think this one's only going to have three little spots. Okay, so over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up. Awesome. I'm going to do that exact same process on the other side and on the front. All right, do you guys notice how I use this tower over here to figure out my height for this one? Because whatever lines I made here, I could just extend them out with Fred, and that gave me my exact lines there, which then made it so I could connect and do this side. All right, we have our basic towers. Now let's throw in, what if we throw in a big drawbridge over here? I like that. So I want my big door I want it to be about that wide. Now I know I'm gonna do lines going straight up first. Straight up, straight up. Then I wanna give myself a very light line from Sue. Decide kind of how tall it is, but not all the way, because I'm gonna make it a rounded door. So I drew that lightly just so I knew my angles. And let me stand up and round that. There we go, I like that. Having that line there told me where I needed to connect on both sides. Awesome. Now, it's a thick wall, so let's give it some thickness. So from this point down here, I need to connect to Fred and decide how thick is that wall gonna be. I want it a pretty thick wall, so I'm gonna go all the way to there. And then I want to stay parallel with this line. So I'm going to go straight up and then curve and meet in with kind of the top middle. There we go. Now we got an opening. They'd be nice if we had that door down. So from Fred, I'm going to extend out from the points at the bottom of the door. We're going to make a little bridge going over a moat, I think. So that extends out. I can decide how long it's going to be by using suit. Maybe let's go there. Okay, I can give myself a moat around this castle by using Sue and Fred. So I'll use Sue, go a little bit smaller than my bridge. See how it extends out around. I can go Fred. And I guess we could put that line back in. So we're getting a little moat around our bridge now, or around our castle. I could even curve it around the castle here. Maybe say I want it to curve, and I connect that to Fred, and it's going to look like it's curving around the back of the castle, like that. I could even do the same thing over here to make it look like it's just a moat around the entire castle. So this is my water. I could even, instead of making these signs straight, make them look like water too. Last couple details I'm gonna add. I'm gonna go some windows on here and here, and then my zigzaggy edge 
on the wall here. So let's start with that zigzaggy edge. Let's go this side first. We'll go from Pred, decide how big it's going to be. I'm gonna make these ones a bit bigger than the top. Lightly draw my line. And then it's just verticals. So straight down, straight up. Now I recommend making these lines get slightly closer together as they get farther away. It's going to look more realistic because things get smaller as they get farther away. Now I definitely recommend using your ruler for these. Just trying to show you a bit faster. Okay. Now, this wall has some thickness to it as well. So all of these top left corners can all be connected to both vanishing points. Notice they're already connected to Fred, but if we connect them to Sue, it's going to look like these walls have some thickness to them. So connect to Sue. See here now, it looks like the wall has some thickness. I can do that with these as well. Whatever lines are already connected to, just connect it to the other side. Let me also show you some windows on here. So for windows, I'm gonna start with a vertical line. I'm gonna have a row of them here. So vertical, decide how tall you want it to be. From the top and bottom, connect to Fred because we're on Fred's side of the building here. I'm gonna do a whole row so I can do a nice long line all at once. Now Castle don't have giant windows like that, so I'm gonna split them up into a couple vertical ones. Erase the spaces in between. Now, just like the top, let's give our window some thickness. So, we're gonna go from the top and bottom of our lines here. We can't extend to Fred, because that goes into the wall, but we can extend to Sue. Now you notice these ones I didn't go all the way because I wanted to take some vertical lines and make these windows not quite as thick. There we go. And then wherever these lines end, I can connect these to Fred to show the bottom and top part of the window cell. Okay, I can do that same thing on the tower as well. I'm gonna put some probably tall thin windows on the tower for like shooting arrows. So I'm going to slide a nice thin vertical line, how tall the window is. So since this is on the Fred side of the building, I'm only going to connect to Fred to figure out our opening. And then for thickness, just like I did down here, I would connect to Sue. And I'm only going to be able to do it from the top right corner. And then it's just going to be a vertical line down and a Fred line for the top. There we go. So I could keep following these techniques to finish filling in windows everywhere. Um, last little things, I like to put some roofs on the top of the towers. So I'm just going to do some triangles off of the top towers. Remember this one here is a lot closer, it's in front, so it's gonna be a lot bigger. I like these two to be about the same size. Ooh, that gives it a classic look. I could even put a little spire and a flag on it if I wanted. There we go. So keep going with this, these techniques here and finish filling out the other side and give your castle some interesting stuff. Maybe it has more towers in the back. Maybe it has different windows. Maybe 
the moat goes all the way around. Maybe there's something in the moat. Is there a dragon flying overhead? Add those extra details to your castle.